Lightning News at 5. Waukegan police and fire crews teamed up to make a remarkable water rescue. They saved a woman's life who'd been missing for more than 24 hours. WGN's Kelly Davis is at the Waukegan Harbor with the exclusive story. The search team was in recovery mode as they tried to locate the missing woman, but they quickly switched gears when they found her alive underneath this pier and pulled her to safety. I didn't expect to find a living person down here. Officer Leonard Walker was patrolling the pier near the Waukegan Harbor when someone stopped him for help. A 57-year-old woman went missing. Her family feared she was having a mental health crisis and jumped in the water. I didn't really expect to find a whole lot. I walked around, didn't see anything that would reason me to believe that she was still down here. The last ping on her phone led them to the Waukegan Harbor on August 3rd, but she'd been missing for more than 24 hours. I had to make a decision and I didn't know what to do at that time, so that's when I went out and reached out to the fire department. The Waukegan Fire Department launched a boat rescue using sonar to search the water. We didn't see anything, so we didn't think we had anyone down there. They scanned the harbor for three hours before an incoming storm forced them to call it off. As we were having that conversation with the family, the boat had made one last pass and it must have got a, that perfect line of sight underneath the pier. Right, right under our noses. Happened to just glance over it under the bumpers and I noticed a, a red shirt. You're not thinking that you're going to, you know, uh, see someone that's looking back at you. Uh, that's exactly what happens. The woman was awake, but not responsive. Paramedics say her body temp dropped to 87 degrees. She was treated for hypothermia and made a remarkable recovery. It was hard for me to, to comprehend that she could be in the water possibly 24 hours plus and still be alive. The lake can be unforgiving, but on that fateful day, if it would have been today, it could have been a completely different outcome. It gave that woman a second chance. Police and paramedics tell me they have been in touch with the woman's family. They say the family is overwhelmed with emotion and in Incredibly grateful for their efforts. In Waukegan, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News. Incredible.